Adam and Eve lost the glory that was on them that is the glory which is being restored in our day the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hunter joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe and if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us not everyone is going on most are just getting by and I suppose that's okay but that's not this don't be fooled not everyone who says they're going on is and just because they mention the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit or they talk about him in their messages or they write a song about him means almost nothing it doesn't mean they're going on if they don't worship him they don't know him if they did worship him they would begin begin to know him if they don't worship him the Holy Ghost and are in the process of being changed by doing so by worshiping him then their definition of going on is different in here is different in here worshiping the Holy Ghost as God it's different and therefore going on is different let me help you tonight the Spirit Lord says I am a new spirit all things are new he makes all things new and therefore all things are new Romans 7 6 says serve him in newness of spirit it's his mode of operations oldness doesn't please him many turn back because the old is familiar but my soul has no pleasure in them that turn back Joel 2 and verse 2 says a great people and a strong and there's not been ever the like neither shall there be any more after it even to the years of many generations verse 3 a fire devours before them and behind them a flame burns a fire devours before them before them means in front of them where they're going to the future and where it's new you understand that the future is new the future is not old the future is new so before you a fire devours your future burns bright say my future burns bright I call all things new and in here in this room of worshiping the Holy Ghost they are all things are new in here I call them I call them you see I am a preacher of righteousness a righteousness you may know nothing about but I'm glad you're here Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 5 says by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God Enoch was saying things that pleased God and because the things that he was saying and the things he said pleased God he was translated from one thing to the next until he just was not Enoch said things that pleased God Enoch 
was a preacher or speaker of righteousness say a speaker of righteousness now who else do we know was a preacher of righteousness noah for one second peter chapter 2 verse 5 and god spared not the old world but saved noah the eighth person a preacher of righteousness bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly my point here is that noah was a preacher of righteousness so we have enoch a preacher of righteousness noah a preacher of righteousness both listen both also walked with god enoch preached righteousness and walked with god the bible specifically says they walked with god they preached righteousness and walked with god abraham also would be included in this group we know he was a preacher of the righteousness of faith and he walked with god are you seeing a pattern here they preach righteousness and they walk with god they preach righteousness and they walk with god they were preachers or speakers of righteousness and walkers with god what religion were they we have Enoch we have Noah we have Abraham well they weren't Jewish there was no Jewishness they weren't Christian they were worshipers listen they were worshipers of the true and living God and preachers of that righteousness worshiping the true and living God and preachers of that righteousness and walking with him the true and living God him tonight I declare unto you the true and living God second Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 says that you are the temple of the living God first Corinthians 6 19 says you are the temple of the Holy Ghost therefore the Holy Ghost is the true and living God he's the one that's with us in the earth today you should be worshiping the God and glorifying the God that's in the temple Holy Ghost is the true and living God listen to me I have something for you and if you can hear it these words will take you somewhere somewhere you can't go without them I speak words that take you to a certain place I speak righteousness I speak right words I am a preacher of righteousness and those words transport you are you here listen there is a room and a place in the spirit where we go from glory to glory by the Spirit Lord and a translation takes place just like Enoch from glory to glory who walked with a living God second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is Liberty but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of this spirit lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the lord or by the spirit lord literally there is a room and a place in the spirit where we go from glory to glory by the spirit lord it's by beholding him it's by beholding him it's by worshiping him to be in this room you must know this to go from glory to glory you must know this this righteousness worshiping him knowing him being changed from glory to glory beholding him this righteousness 
speaking these things it is right to worship the true and living God is it not Joel chapter 2 verse 3 says a fire devours before them and behind them a flame burns the land is as the garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness yea and nothing shall escape them the land is as the garden of Eden before them say the garden of Eden now who was in the garden of Eden Adam and Eve what religion were they this is where we're going say this is where we're going Adam and Eve were worshipers of the true and living God and the Bible specifically says that they walked with God in the garden in the cool of the day do you remember this well 1 Corinthians 15 45 speaks of Jesus being the second man Adam or the second Adam are you here and the second Adam listen the second Adam came to restore all that was lost in the fall restoring Adam and Eve back to where they were back to where they could worship the true and living God and walk with him and be speakers of righteousness the fact is Jesus did restore all that was lost in the fall did he or didn't he or do you need him to come down and do something else for you because he's not going to the righteousness of faith doesn't say that Acts chapter 3 verse 19 repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out and that you may die and go to heaven wait a second that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord say the presence of the Lord well we just read in 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit where's the Holy Ghost he's in the earth where's his presence in the earth these times of refreshing come from the presence of the Lord Holy Ghost not Jesus because it says here and he shall send Jesus verse 20 and he shall send Jesus Christ which before was preached unto you verse 21 whom the heaven must receive that's King James really means retain the heaven must retain or hold on to Jesus until the times of restitution of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began all those righteous things that the prophets were saying must be fulfilled fully restored fully completed back and then Jesus can return the heaven must retain Jesus until all things are restored I'm speaking righteousness Adam and Eve lost the glory that was on them that is the glory which is being restored in our day learn how to live in it learn how to walk in it learn how to worship the true and living God and be translated from one thing to the next from one glory to the next and in this room says the Spirit Lord as you worship me I will begin to change your thinking you will think differently you will see differently you will act differently until the world will know that I am the true and living God and that you walk with me we thank you Holy Ghost for this in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are the Spirit Lord I walk with you as God in the earth today you increase me more and more until it will be seen and known that I walk 
with the true and living God, even financially, in the earth, in this day, in Jesus' name. in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God